GPDs might be more profitable than you think. The GPD store is expected to open at the end of November, possibly delayed now till mid-December when the new terms of use come into effect. But here's my take, only the GPDs with really high usage are going to profit from the GPD store. But don't worry, I found five other ways to monetize your GPTs. You don't need to wait for the GPT store to open. You can start today. I've personally been experimenting with number three. So let's dive straight in and I'll show you all these examples. Have you ever considered monetizing a GPT with merchandise sales? ChatGPT actually have a great example of a way to do this with a GPT that they created called Sticker Wiz. So let's take a closer look at this. I'm going to say I want a cute manga style sticker of a cat. And now that triggers DALI 3 to actually go ahead and design that image. And here's the design. It's a cute, adorable cat. And then I'm asked, how many of these stickers do I want? So I'll just say two stickers, a uh, standard size. And then it's giving me the link to actually go ahead and order the stickers. And I just need to upload the stickers during the ordering process if I actually want to complete the purchase. But let's just have a look at how it looks. I see my size, the order quantity there. And then I go ahead and upload my image and place my order. Now, even if you're not the owner of a platform like this, you could still make money from this method. Sticker Meal doesn't have an affiliate program but lots of other sites do, but they do have a referral program. So if you referred anybody to Sticker Mule, you would get $10 in credits that you could then use to go ahead and purchase stickers, labels, magnets, buttons, packaging, t-shirts, or anything else that you wanted. Now, perhaps a more direct way to monetize with this method would to be to set up a Teespring store. Now, the great thing about Teespring is they'll handle the production of the items, the shipping, the customer service, all that stuff, you kind of just get the profits and they do have an API. So you could perhaps develop a little bit more of an advanced custom GPT connected with ChatGPT with Zapier. And you could have your own store up and running with people creating their custom designs in ChatGPT. So that's our first example of how to monetize custom GPTs. Now, tip jars could potentially be a gold mine for GPTs. Take Grimore GPT, for example. It helps you become a 100x engineer. And the Grimore creator has set up a tip jar, which opens right up into a stripe here. Now, the tip jar total is currently at $43 which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's really groundbreaking for GPTs. Now, this GPT is extremely popular with over 30,000 conversations already. So the bulk of its revenue will probably come from the GPT store, but it doesn't mean it has to be the only revenue source. You can stack these monetization techniques one on top of the other. Now, you don't have to be technical to set up a tip jar. You can use a service like Buy Me a Copy to set up a link in two minutes and then just drop it into your custom instructions. Now, it was a surprise to me that there are over 300,000 creators using Buy Me a Coffee. And it says here that many of these creators are earning six figures on Buy Me a Coffee alone. Now there is a 5% service charge, but you get to keep 95% of all the earnings. Patreon is another platform that you could potentially monetize, perhaps providing exclusive coding tips to paying subscribers. And I think this approach could be great for GPTs with a very strong brand or community. The bottom line for me here is that like YouTube, once you've built an audience or a user base, there will be opportunities to monetize them. And I think even though it's early days, that seeing these tip jars is proof that that potential is there, just like it is on YouTube and other social media platforms. It only took me two minutes to create my Buy Me a Coffee page, and then I just dropped it into my custom instructions. So now the link appears at the end of the conversation in the GPT. And I'll put the link to this GPT below in the description. So if you want to click in and see exactly what it looks like, and hey, you could make history by being, I think, the first person to ever donate to a GPT 
with buy me a coffee. So feel free to do that as well. So that covers our second way to monetize GPTs with tip jars. Now, the third way to monetize GPTs is through consultation calls. And this is the method I'm personally experimenting with the most. And that I think holds some great revenue potential. So let me give you an example of this. I have my GPT here called GPT Idea Evaluator. I'll put the link to this in the description below. But basically, you pitch me your GPT idea and I'll rate it out of 10. So for people who are building GPTs, I think this is a useful tool. Now, at the end of this evaluation, what I've done now is include a link to actually book a call with me if they want. So I have a couple of links here. Share this GPT with other. That's to help market it. They can buy me a coffee if they want, or if they want more feedback now, they can book a call with me. So they click through here and you can see it's a 30 minute meeting. It's $49. So that's how I'm monetizing this. I put in a short description saying it's a private consultation, in-depth feedback on your GPT ideas, tips for monetization, etc. Then they can go ahead and just select the date, book the time. And then what happens then is once they pay and book, they'll get an automatic email confirmation like this with the link to the Google meeting. And then we can actually do the consultation call. So that's um, really how it works. Essentially, this is um, the GPT is like a lead generator for me funneling potential clients into my uh, consultation calls. And I think this approach has a wide a range of applications like if you're a fitness coach or really any type of coach or mentor or consultant. And traditionally, coaches might put out content. But personally, I think this GPT uh, might be a better way to do it because if your GPT is valuable and well crafted, then it demonstrates your expertise in the field. And this can lead clients to believe then working one on one with you would be even more valuable. And so that's kind of the purpose of it. So I want to show you now briefly how to set this up. So the first thing you'll need to do is um, go to Calendly.com. This is the appointment scheduling software that I'm doing. And you can go in there and just sign up for free using Google. And uh, once you get inside, then what you want to do is create uh, an event type. So I think these two are automatically set up 30 minute, 60 minute meeting. Now on the free plan, you'll get one event type only, but that's probably all you'll need. Now to actually integrate um, your calendar, you can just go into integrations here. So if we go into most use here, we can see Google Calendar and Google Meet. And so that takes care of scheduling and also the video conferencing. Both of those are free to use. So that's that. Then we can go back to our events type and here we can edit this a little bit more. So we click in here and we can edit this. And this is where you set up um, the details for your meeting, whether you want it to be 30 or 60 minutes and where you want the location to be. Also in here, you can put in a description of what your consultation call is being going to be about. So you want to make that kind of clear to people before they book. Um, now in here, this is important. You can actually select when your available hours are. So you don't want to be getting calls in the middle of the night. Uh, so I've just selected it here weekdays between these times. You can cancel certain days if you don't want to take calls then or you can just set whatever hours that you want. Then moving down a little bit, there are um, you can select what information you want to collect on the booking page. And I've also set up that they get a reminder 24 hours before the event by email so that they don't forget. So you can set all of that up for free, but if you want to collect payments, then you need to upgrade. So if you come in here to booking page options, you'll see the option here to add a payment form. So I've just set this up with Stripe. That only takes a couple of minutes to set up, or you can accept payments with PayPal, which is also free to set up. Both of those services just take a small commission to receive payments, and you can just set your price there, whatever you want it to be. And um, you can select the currency and things like that. So to upgrade, uh, 
if you're paying month to month, which I did just because this is kind of an experiment, um, it's $12 per month. So I think this is incredibly interesting. I think potentially this is the most profitable way to monetize the GPTs. So subscribe if you want to hear more about how I do with this little experiment. But for almost $12 a month, at a, you know, you could be up, running, accepting payments and monetizing GPTs. So that's really the third way to monetize GPTs today. And that is with consultation calls. Now let's look at our fourth way to monetize GPTs and that is with affiliate links. Now the beauty of affiliate marketing is that you don't actually need a product to sell. Essentially you become a professional marketer for another business and if any clicks through your links lead to a sale then you get a commission. Now affiliate marketing is not anything new and in fact if you basically look at any YouTube video you're going to see affiliate links in there as well. And you can become an affiliate for basically any type of product, like a physical product through Amazon's affiliate program. Any software usually has an affiliate program as well. And even online courses have them now through, for example, Udemy's affiliate program. So I want to give you an example of this now. So here is a GPT. It's called Day Coach Pro. And... Um, if I click into one of the conversation starters here, you can see it's going to give me some uh, basic information on actually you know, how to improve my dating skills. So here it's given me some tips on how to what to do on a first date. And then down the end here, it says con consider checking out glowup.com. So this actually isn't a live link, but if we paste it in, this is a service that uses um, AI to help give you abs for your profile pictures. So you can see that how it's a related product. You have dating and then you have a service that helps you appear more attractive. And that's essentially how affiliate marketing works. You're either teaching people how to use the product or you're doing reviews on it or you're just giving advice and then there are related products there that you recommend. So you can do it in that way, or you could also do it maybe just down the end um, with links like I did it there. But affiliate marketing is a very proven way to make money online. It's actually how I got started online. So I think it's going to work in GPTs as well. You're just, instead of putting your link into a blog post or below a YouTube video, you're just inserting it into a GPT. So that's the fourth way to monetize your GPTs today with affiliate links. So now let's look at our fifth and final way to monetize a GPT, and that is with sponsorships. Now, this again is not a new concept. A lot of people monetize their content on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and in newsletters with sponsorships. Essentially, you're just getting paid to mention a link or a product in your content. So for example, I have a GPT here that I personally use. It's like a research assistant for me to help me make these YouTube videos. And uh, for example, I ask it, you know, create me a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up Calendly. And then what I could do here is to insert at the top of the response a sponsored link. And that could be there for 48 hours or a week, depending on, on potentially the agreement that I would have. Now, the trick about actually making money with sponsorships is your content needs to be closely related to uh, the product that's there. So for this type of GPT, a, a research assistant for a YouTuber, it probably makes sense for me to promote maybe YouTube conferences, YouTube coaches or YouTube softwares that really could be put up there. I think this might work very well for a type of news related GPT kind of replacing the existing newsletters that are out there. So uh, personally, it's something I'm looking into as well. So wrapping up, these are the five ways to monetize your GPTs today. As you can see, there's a lot more possibilities than just the open uh, AI GPT store. So like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe for more tutorials. I think ads is another thing that's possible and that's coming soon. And also, if you want to get help building GPTs, we have a GPT community here. We're sharing lots of tips on 
how to really take advantage of this opportunity. So the link for that and my own GPTs mentioned in this video will be in the description below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.